There are few things more frustrating than trying to start a hot engine. But sooner or later, the problem rears its ugly vapor lock in each brand of engine and all makes of airframes to some degree. But take heart. Using the right technique will save you lots of headaches. Let's take a look at the problem. An air-cooled engine starts hot between 15 minutes and 2 hours after shutdown. There are several factors which, when combined, make starting airplane engines, hot or cold, difficult. Aircraft engines are quite simple. They don't have chokes for cold starting, and they don't meter fuel precisely at below idle speeds. Aviation fuel many times fails to vaporize easily at startup. Weak, low RPM spark from magnetos, poor mixture distribution, and updraft corporation are all elements of hot starting. How to alleviate hot starts? Make sure your magnetos are strong, spark plugs are cleaned and properly gapped, and make sure your ignition harness is in good shape. Check your fuel injection system's idle mixture adjustments. There should be a 50 RPM rise as you shut down with the mixture control. Make sure your primer system works properly. Most fuel injection systems don't meter fuel very accurately at low engine speeds. The RSA fuel injection system calls for the priming to provide the majority of the fuel needed for the first few tentative combustion events. Fuel pressure is regulated at the throttle body, which means you can't force extra fuel through the system with the boost pump. And fuel delivery lines sit on top of the engine directly over the cylinder fins. Fuel is simply boiled out of the lines as heat ripples off the just shut down engine. Precision's RSA fuel injection system is a mechanical continuous flow system. Both the throttle and mixture control should be fully forward for maximum fuel flow. Here's the recommended procedure for the Cessna Cardinal with Lycoming. Throttle open one quarter. Boost pump on. Mixture move from idle cutoff to full rich to obtain a three to five gallon per hour fuel flow. Then back to idle cutoff. Boost pump off and engage the starter. In theory, the engine will catch within a few revolutions and you can push the mixture smoothly to a full rich as power develops, then retard the throttle to the desired idle speed. Now, here's a few common sense reminders. Tricks of the hot start trade. Always park in the wind. Open the cowl flaps and even pop open the oil filler door too. In this way, hot air escapes from the top of the cowling and helps to draw cool air up from the outlet area. It's very important to get airflow through the cowling after shutdown. Of course, when you're faced with a hot start, always follow the procedures presented in the operating manual.